Aunt Sally, you scared me again. I'm sorry, would you please excuse my dear Aunt Sally one more time? I knew she was going to sneeze a lot, that's why I brought her in here, so I can always say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, because that's what we're talking about in order of operations. Okay, as you can see right here, I have the checklist, okay? Now, just to let you know, again, the checklist isn't always going to be in order when we go from multiplication to division or addition to subtraction. We might actually check off division first before multiplication. But the ones that always go in order are parentheses and exponents. You always have to do parentheses and exponents first before we can move on down. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, do we have any parentheses here? Yes, I can see you guys saying two plus one are inside parentheses. Perfect. So let's go ahead and rewrite everything. We'll have 12 divided by three. So I bring everything down. The division sign I'm gonna bring down and I'm also going to bring this minus sign down. Now I go ahead and add what's in the parentheses. 2 plus 1 is 3. All right, so am I done with parentheses? Yes, so once I'm done, I'll go ahead and check that off. Do I have any exponents? No, so I check that off since I don't have any exponents. Multiplication or division? Well, I don't have any multiplication, but I have division. So let's go ahead and do division first. Let's do 12 divided by 3, which is 4. And we bring everything down, even the sign. Think of the sign as the first name to the 3. So its first name would be minus, and the 3 would be its last name. So it would be minus 3. So we bring everything down with it. So it would be 4 minus 3. OK, we did division. You see how sometimes we actually do division? and there's no multiplication. So we can go ahead and check multiplication off since there's nothing there. I didn't go in order, but that's okay because we're gonna see some problems later to see as to why. Okay, is there any addition? Nope. What about subtraction? Yes. Subtraction is four minus three, which would be one. So now I finished my subtraction and I didn't have any addition, so I can check that off. The main thing we're using this for to check off is to make sure that we've completed all the steps to know that we've gone through all of these to make sure that we got the answer correct.